This man had almost 200 receiving yards to go with what was a perfect passer rating this weekend. He was also on the delivering end of a game-winning double pass for the Pioneers. Brant Stair, what's going on, man? What's going on? Thanks for having me. Dude, excited to get you on here. It felt like, uh, you know, I told your coach this morning I'd be stupid if I had anyone else sitting in your chair right now talking to me on this show. That was a ridiculous finish on Saturday. Talk me through that one. Did you guys know that that was going to be something you were going to as soon as you went to overtime? Yeah, um, it just the situation happened how it did, and um, we got the ball, and that was the play. Our coach got it in, and there was no hesitation with it. Got it in, ran it, and executed. See, you make that all sound, like, incredibly simple, and I think that's what you're supposed to say, you know, because you, you obviously have trust, one, in yourself to uh, first catch the ball, obviously, yeah. and then, two, to go and deliver a dot downfield, right? That's another part of this that is uh, certainly impressive. <laughs> you also have trust in the guys around you, your quarterback to deliver, and then the guy on the receiving end to actually go make the play, quote-unquote, in the end zone. But when we watch – this clip, man, of this play. It was anything but simple. Uh, and I think that's just something right, I, wanted one to, left, I wanted to highlight talking about this thing, man. Uh, was that something you guys implemented maybe at the beginning of the season? Were you holding on to this? Was that, was that something that went in this week into the game plan? No, we've had that. Um, we've had that play, and, and we've repped it. Um, of course, there's a lot of moving parts with it, but um, it's just really a testament to, like you said, it takes a lot of trust. Um, with all the guys and all the moving parts, but, um, you know, we all trust each other and we were able to get it done. So now you're three for six on your career passing. You know that off the top of your head? Uh, yeah, I think I think the numbers are a little off there. But, okay. Explain, um, please, explain. I, 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 believe I'm, I believe I'm two for three. Okay. Um, I threw two passes last season. One was incomplete, one was complete. Um, and then one so far. This so they've year. got you in the box score with a pick last year. Did you throw an interception or is no, that? She, no, I did not <laughs> throw an interception. <laughs> That we got to get that cleared up. Huh? We cannot have that uh, on your record. Which otherwise, like you said, if, if it is as you claim, that's pretty damn good, dude. But now you throw an interception in there, and and now my yeah. perfect passer rating comment <laughs> kind of goes out the window. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll get that sorted. But uh, let's backtrack. Talk about the game as a whole for you guys and. For me, just watching and going through some clips and not being able to maybe watch the thing from start to finish, you guys took some shots down the field offensively, right? And really took the top off that Eagle secondary. You had three touchdowns of 40-plus yards. That's something that stands out for me right away. Was that one of the goals going into this one, something you identified you might be able to do against that defense? Well, I think it's just something that we're able to do offensively with yep. the pieces that we have. Um, I think we're able to attack all three levels on the field. And... Um, that's that's just how it happened during the game. Um, and that's certainly something that we'll continue to do moving forward and continue to try to attack all three levels. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. And when you talk about a stat that is uh, maybe a little bit crazy in terms of box score and what is usually a very bad indicator of a football team's performance, that being your time of possession. You guys possess the ball for less than 23 minutes, which usually, given no other contextual clues about the way this game went and proceeded throughout the four quarters, that usually means a team did not do very well. You guys were very much the exception to that one. Only had one true trip to the red zone, too, which is kind of ridiculous. But like we talked about, most of those plays you guys are scoring out are those long uh, yardage plays down the field. How did the defense hold though uh, up, though, excuse me, on the other side of things? Because when you possess the ball for 23 minutes, that means the other team's out there a hell of a lot more often. So how did that defense hold up to being on the field for, I mean, more than a majority of the game? Yeah, definitely. Huge credit to our defense. Um they were able to slow their offense down um, a ton, and our offense was struggling a little bit early, but uh, we we had to rely on our defense a lot. We put a lot of pressure on those guys. Unfortunately, you know, we didn't want it to happen that way, but, you know, they, they held up their end of the bargain and then some um, played a really great game. Like, the motto on that side of the ball is fast physical together, and they they definitely showed that. Yeah, they live it, dude. And by the way, your offense, not the only one struggling in the first quarter, at least, I mean, early on, both teams account for a combined total of 16, or excuse me, that would have been even more ridiculous, 60-6-0 yards of offense, which in itself is ridiculous number, especially when you talk about two offenses that have not struggled uh, into that effect, right, in the course of this season and even last year. 
what the hell happened between quarter one and two? Did we flip a switch on the sideline before we started up the next series? What do you kind of, you know, amount that up to? I think, you know, just throughout the game, you're constantly making adjustments and stuff and trying to figure out what works, what doesn't. And I think it's just one of those things where some adjustments were made correctly and, um, you know, you just try to keep figuring it, figuring it out throughout the game. Um, so I think that's that's really what it was, just making adjustments. And there's a lot of people out there, a lot of, uh, I think we'd say skeptics is probably the right word, that say the quote-unquote halftime adjustments, or in this case, the quarter adjustments, maybe in between drives. When you guys meet, you know, around the bench, some teams now have like the tablet kind of deal where you're looking back through at some plays. A lot of people say that's just straight bullshit. I'm going to go ahead and use this box score in this game as a great example of uh, maybe proving them wrong. I think it's a conversation that's happened across all levels of college and professional football for a long time. But there are seriously some things that get talked about there that uh, could be some game-changing type of adjustments. So you guys now, though, you're 4-0, arguably the toughest next three weeks of the season compared to anyone in the country. But that comes with playing in the WIAC. You guys are uh, no stranger to that. How does it feel right now, though, to be in control of your destiny, so to speak, with having a quote-unquote perfect record I can say that you can't uh moving forward and uh you know having the ability to have the WAG run through Platteville this year yeah you know it, it feels like it, it feels all right like it feels like we're just doing business <laughs> we're doing our jobs you know because that's like, nice to not... say but no I, I that's good that's good of you to say man I like that and and not not to not to understate the no, win that right. we yeah. had against a really great team um like you can't understate any conference wins for sure. Like we enjoy those moments. We celebrate those things, but when it's time to get back to business, we're back to business. And like I said, you can't get too far ahead of yourself. You can't get too far behind either. So, you know, our conference schedule is tough. Next three weeks, tough, but it's always going to be tough. And to get where we want to be, which is to win the national championship, that's going to be tough too. So oh, yeah. we are going to approach that the same way we approach any game, just business, like get in there and get out with a win. Hey, you were saying all the right things, by the way. Um, I am absolutely giving you a hard time for it, but you are absolutely saying all the right things. That's that's exactly the mindset you have to have moving forward, right? And it's fun for yeah. uh, fun and easy, I should add, for someone on the outside like myself to speculate and talk about those things. You're saying all the right things, and, and you guys have the right mindset uh, in that locker room down there. Is this your, your sixth year in the program down at Platteville? Yes. That's awesome, dude, for someone to, to stick through. And, and now not only stick through the program, but now being a major contributor that you have these last couple of years is, is a pretty special deal. How have you grown as a player, I guess, and a man in your time down at Platteville? Oh, man, like it's it's really been a ride. Um, it's, it's been quite a journey. And um, I owe a lot of my growth to, you know, the coaches and the people around me. There's a ton of really great people here in Platteville, and it's really what makes it uh, an attractive place to, to play football at. Um, and I, I've made long strides in my, uh, game and off the field as a person throughout my time here. And again, it's really just like, it's about the people around me. Um, I've been put in the right situation and I've been so blessed to be put in this situation where I can grow and I can be placed in situations where I can go do what I'm best at on the field, especially. So um, it's been it's been quite a ride. Like I said, I've learned a ton of things, and um, I'm looking forward to keep it keeping it going. Hundred percent, man. And it's one thing to be in that spot where, like you talk about, you have those opportunities and those people to help carry you along. It's another though to take advantage of that, right? To take full advantage of that, which you seemingly have done um, from the outside looking in. So be sure to give yourself a lot of credit there when it comes to to looking back on your on your journey and being a pioneer. But uh, you and I both know that is not done just yet, brother. Good luck the rest of the way. Excited to continue covering you guys. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs>